Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the dual encoders featured on the RDNA 3 GPU. So in particular we're going to be looking at the dual encode functionality of the Radeon RX 7800 XT as you can see here. So just to kind of show the test system we are using a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D equipped with 96 gigabytes of memory running at 6400. And then for the graphics card what I have here is you'll notice in Windows 10 in the task manager, and this is very similar for if you're on Windows 11, but you can see, not only can you see the driver date and the driver version, you can see the DirectX version and the feature level support down there. The video memory, this is a 16 gigabyte graphics card, the GPU temperature, etc. So what I wanted to show is specifically the video codec 0 and the video codec 1. So these both of these represent the two different engines or the encoders that are built into the GPU. If you're doing content creation or video editing, you can leverage either one of these depending on the type of encoder you're using. So for example, if I were to use AVC as the codec or HEVC, those two are mapped to one of these encoders and the other encoder is used for AV1. So AV1 has been a buzzword in the content creation space for a while now. So if we look at DaVinci Resolve, and I highly recommend DaVinci Resolve because it is free, and if you have an RDNA 3 GPU, you get access to the AV1 encoder without having to pay for the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. I recently found out that with the RTX 40 series cards, you have to have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve if you want access to AV1, and I found that kind of, that was a huge letdown because I could not use the 4090 with AV1 with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It's like, why, why should I have to pay money to gain AV1 access when it is a supposed to be an open source codec and it is freely available if you're using an AMD GPU? So that's kind of weird. I thought that was strange. So anyway, so with AV1 and H.264 and H.265, you can see these are the three. So this is H. This is AVC and this is HEVC. So we're going to do AV1 type. It's going to be AMD because that's the only graphics card that's installed. So we're going to render this video Starfield gameplay at 4K 60. So you can specify 60. So we're going to go ahead and add this to render queue. And we're going to look at how long it takes. But the main thing that I'm going to go ahead and start this render. So you can see it's just it's going through and it is rendering 4K 60 at about 230, 224 to 234 frames per second. So anyway, while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and look at the codec that's running in Task Manager. This is how you can tell if your application is using the GPU for the hardware acceleration. So you can see here, codec zero is the AV1 encoder. It is getting good utilization. If you were to use the GPU to encode a live stream, in real time, you ideally don't want the codec to be running at 100% because then you will get frame stuttering in the output. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here and we're going to change this over to H.265. This is HEVC. So HEVC is going to result in a very similar file size and image quality relative to AV1. H.265 and AV1 are very similar in terms of file size and visual quality per frame versus the old H.264 because H.264 is from 2003 and it's very old. So let's go ahead and now do the same render, only we're now going to use HEVC, aka H.265. So we're going to start that render and we're going to now go back and look so you guys can see. Just to show, it renders at around 159 frames per second, so not quite as fast as AV1 in terms of the encoder. And if we look, it's interesting that codec 1 is the one that's actually being used and it's pegged at 100%. It is getting full utilization of the codec 1, which is used for H.265 compared to codec 0, which is primarily used for AV1, or I should say it's exclusively used for AV1. So this kind of shows that the 7000 series Radeon cards are equipped with dual encode and this is how you can verify if your software application is actually using the GPU to do the work to render the actual video compared to CPU rendering. If this is sitting at 0% while rendering a video then you know that your CPU is doing the rendering and that would be 
you know, X264 or SAVT or whatever it's doing. So it does take a bit longer with HEVC, but we will look at the output file size here in a minute. Okay, so it's completed. Now we'll test H264 in terms of the which which encoder it actually uses. So we're going to set that to H264. We're going to add that to render queue. We're going to start the render. And this one's interesting. It actually doesn't list under video codec 1 or video codec 0. It actually shows up, the utilization shows up under compute 1, which is interesting. It is using the GPU, but it's it's almost like it's rendering using the GPU in a different manner compared to the way it works with HEVC and AV1. That's interesting to note. I wasn't expecting to see this behavior. It also does render at a slower speed, and that could be because the utilization is not as high. So this one is taking a lot longer to render. So just to kind of show the results here of the render test that we did. So job two is the AV1 encoded video, and that one took one minute that one took one minute and seven seconds to complete. The HEVC encode took one minute and 31 seconds to complete. And as you can see, the AVC one is still going. So that one's taking, probably gonna take the longest amount of time. And the way I can tell is by looking at the frame rate. So this one's rendering about 72 to 81 frames. And it kind of jumps around. It can spike up to like 131 frames per second in terms of the render. Okay, so you can see Old school H.264 took 2 minutes and 44 seconds to render versus AV1, which was just over 1 minute, and HEVC, which was over about a one, one and a half minutes in terms of how long that one took. So in conclusion, it's nice to have the dual encoders built into the media engine for the RDNA 3 GPUs, and I would recommend those that are looking at doing video editing, either if you've already you're a seasoned veteran or you're somebody who's just starting out, you know, you're using like free DaVinci Resolve like I am, I highly recommend trying the newer codecs because I think that the default is H.264 and that one takes the longest to render and it also requires higher bitrate relative to the other two for the exact same image quality. So that means that if you use the newer codecs like AV1 or HEVC, you get smaller file sizes for your video renders and they also take less time to complete. So if you guys found this video useful, let me know in the comments your thoughts on AV1 and video codecs and GPU encoding and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.